Hello and welcome back to another video of Excel macros. In last video of Outlook email automation, we have seen how to automatically generate Outlook emails for each row in an Excel file. And we have also seen like when we are sending the automated email using Excel macro, how to update the status back in the Excel. Now today in this video, we are going to see that how to change the template dynamically using the variable data. This variable data will be the Excel data when we are sending the automated emails. Please hit the like button if you like the content of this video and subscribe to the channel for more and more videos on UiPath automation, Python automation, Excel macro automation and share your feedback in comments. And then after we will see how to add a attachment Outlook email using the variable value. And I will be sharing the link of the code file not in the description but somewhere in between because if i will share in the description you will just download and you will not try to understand the code so stay back till end somewhere in between you will have the link for the code this is our data file and i will just right click and click go on view code and you can see this is the code which we have seen in the last video you will have the link of this last video in the description and you can see it right now on the top also notifications now what we, we have to do is that in this email object when we are creating the email object this part we have to play with now so this body part will come from a template so let me show you the template now so here you can see the email template on your body right now these parts we call the placeholders right with referring to these only we will change the respective values all right now let's understand how we will change the value so we already have this sub to send the email we loop on each row by a counter we create the email object and then we create the body and then we do send now what we have to do we have to create a function this function will take the row counter from here to here and then this function will change all the placeholders by the cell values and then those values will those values will be assigned to few variables and those variables will be added into an array same way we will add the placeholders also into an array and then we will change the values after changing the values we will return the final template to this function here okay. so you will understand here like in vba or in excel macro how to use function and how to you return the values from those functions now let's go and see this in the practical so right now you can see on your screen the code or the sub to read the data from a text file because we have our template in text let me use this code so if you can see here that till this line the code we have taken the code to read the template from a text file and to read the template from a text file we have to add one reference that is scripting runtime. So you have to scroll down and search for this one. Microsoft scripting runtime. Then after here I am taking the hard coded value. But when I will call this function, I will be assigning these values from the data sheet cell reference. But since this we are doing a test run, so we are using the hard coded values. I have created an array using these variables and then we have already declared an array of those placeholders which are in our template file you can see this placeholder this one and this one all are into our template file here here and here after that what i have done is i have taken the first index that and the end index of this placeholder array and then I am looping from start till end when I am looping 
what i am doing i am replacing the value so this is just for example so i hope you understand anything which is starting with apostrophe comma or you can see as a green color on your screen that is a comment that is not the code okay and here in this line i am using the replace function so where i am replacing i am replacing inside the email template which is coming from here what i am replacing placeholder value i am replacing with the variable value so once we will complete all the loop all the iteration of the loop we will have a final template that i am displaying here okay so i will just run the sample code now the customer name should replaced with the test customers and the customer mobile should be replaced with customer test mobile customer city should be replaced with test city and then this is how the final template will come we play your parcel is on the way test city your team will call on test mobile number beer test so why that final is coming because here i have taken that final if i will remove that the proper you will have the proper template now let's see how to use this with the code that we have created for sending the outlook email for each row okay so i will take the code back to send the email this is the code to send the email now this part we have to change we can call that function here call the function okay now what we have to do we will create a function and then function name return template and what we need to create the template we need the data from this sheet okay and to read this sheet what we need we need the row so that for the same row we are reading the data for which we are creating the email if you have seen my last video you will you will be able to connect it very uh, perfectly okay and let's copy that code that we have saved so we don't need this end part and we don't need the start part we need from here till here okay and then inside this function we will is the code i will explain the code and you will have the code file as i mentioned so you don't worry and we have to take a input that is the row counter which row i have to which row this function has to work upon so this value we need and it should be same so if you see the counter value here okay it should be same the type should be same as here all right and then this function will return us what a template and template will be a string so this function type should be string and how does the function return a value so you have to take this name so once you will have the final value so final value will come in the email template if you go through this function once again one by one return template Like the name here and here as well. We have not yet called this function. Now, is equals to email template. Now, what we have to do is we have to read the values from Excel file for name, mobile number, and city. what we can do is we have we already have the data or the code to read the value where we are reading so you have this this one 
Okay. Just remove these things. Remove these hard coded values from this macro function. Okay, and we cannot use counter because counter scope is still this this sub. So what we have to do is we have to use this input row counter because input row counter when we will call the function we will pass as counter only. Change this. Change this. This. Now you have to see where is the name, which column is the name. So I am considering only first name. So first name is in B. You have to change here B. Mobile number. J. Change here J. City. F change here as F all right hope you can see the entire function on your screen right now so I hope you can see the entire function right now on your screen please pause the video have a look once again if you don't understand anything you please please mention the timing line and what is your question in the comment I will definitely answer that now we don't need this part to replace because we have already seen this if you want for testing you can keep it okay so here we are replacing the values from the notepad now we have to see the references do we have required references so yes we have the office outlook object we have description time office outlook is to generate the outlook emails and description time is to to read the data from text file now we have to call this here and what you have to pass when you are returning so you have to pass counter and this counter will become what input row counter okay, when if you don't understand that how to use functions then I think there is a dedicated video on my youtube channel how to call functions by the arguments in VBA and then you can understand it better alright so as promised here is the link for the entire zip this zip file where you can see all the codes, template and the data sheet that I have used. But don't forget to hit the like button. Let's continue. And this send part is, if you want you can comment first and then you can just keep display dot display if you just want to see the template before sending as I have already seen this code and I have tested multiple times so I am sure and I will run the code now so I have to enable this send we are because HTML body you have to use HTML tags and then again we are break the row we are save this so script is let me go and check it again so now you can see after adding br it is coming for so you can match the code with this data so customer one city you can see city one phone two three two three 
where is customer one one two three two three and the city one okay this is how you can use the dynamic template in outlook email body when you are using excel macros now next is how will you add the attachment we already have a variable as order number if you can see here i am just adding that in between this string so if you want to add one more file after this slide you can add one more line this and then you can specify the different path whatever you want so it will add the files so now we are done so i will add this i will run this macro once again and it will automatically send the email with attachments so the execution is done let me go to outlook so here you can see the timing and here you have all the emails you can match the data with excel here is the excel for your reference all right so i will show you the entire code once again and then here is the link that you can use to download this file so this is the code to send the email and here we are here we are calling the function that is returning as the changed template so you can pause the video here and then you can come down and have a look on the code of this function and you can understand the relationship between these two codes hope this i know that this video was long for you but you have the code right now with you so you can practice you have any question you can just message me in the comments i will help you definitely All right. Thank you very much for your valuable time.